In this video, I am going to explain how to use the site or domain filter on the advanced Google search page to refine your search results. But first, it is necessary to understand what a top level domain is. This website from name.com has this great simple table here in the center that lists some of the most common top level domains. And when these were first developed in the early 80s, the domains were designated for specific purposes or types of content creators. And these purposes were evident in the abbreviation that became the domain. For example, .com served commercial entities. .org was for nonprofit organizations. .int for international organizations. .edu for education and schools. .gov for government sites. And .mil for military sites. And over time, the rules have been loosened and some changes have been made that make a site's top-level domain a little less precise. But there have also been some additions. For example, countries have their own top-level domain to identify each country separately, like .us for the United States and .nz for New Zealand. Most content creators want their website to reflect their purpose, so you should still mostly continue to see a pretty strong connection between the type of content and the top-level domain that is assigned to it. Two domains that have not really changed much at all are the .gov and .mil. Both of these are still managed by their um, original entities. So .gov is managed by the .gov repository and .mil domains are managed by the Department of Defense. And so we can take a look back here at our Google Advanced Search page and let's just search a simple search for retail um, sales. Let's do retail sales. It's a hot story right now. We're getting lots of great millions of results. Um, a lot of them from newspapers and .com sites talking about um, how the sales are going, retail sales are right now. But if we wanted to see how the government is analyzing and collecting this information, that's when we need to go to our advanced search. So remember that's under settings and go to advanced search and right down here under the filters, we can choose to limit this to a .gov domain. And so now we're going to get sites from the government like the census, like the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that's what the BLS stands for. So we're getting much better results for our purpose this way. We could also search within one of these specific domains like census.gov. So if we go back over here to our advanced search, we can type census in the front of this .gov and press enter. And now we're just getting websites from the United States census website. So that can be really helpful. And we can do the same thing with any domain, whether we use the top level extension or we go farther into the specific website within that top level domain. And I hope this will help you be more precise in your searching when you're thinking about who is providing the content and who is likely to have the kind of information you're looking for. Remember that on the settings advanced search page for Google, that you have the option to limit your search to just that section of the web.